Hey guys, I'm Steph from RocketThames.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create an under construction page uh, of course making use of the blank no header no footer uh, page template okay so select uh, the blank no header no footer uh, template give uh, your page a title something like in the under construction Okay, uh, and just hit publish uh, button. Okay, let's see how our page looks like. Open this in a new tab. And as you can see, we have nothing here. It's uh, just a blank uh, uh, page. We're going to use this as our under construction page. So um, there are two ways uh, you can do this. You can either enable the backend editor uh, or the frontend uh, editor. Um, okay, I'm going to use uh, for this example. I'm going to use uh, first uh, the backend editor. So the first uh, thing I want to do is add a row. I'm going to use the full width um, row. Um, let's go ahead and add the text block and type some text here like uh, Inva under construction page let's use an h1 heading and try to center this uh, then just paste some text some uh, descriptive text like um, we are currently under construction please visit us in a few days I'm just going to copy paste this um, also center this ok click save click update and let's go back to your page and hit refresh now as you can see we have um, the text that we used um, because uh, it's taking a lot uh, longer to uh, create a page using the backend editor I'm just going to use the fronted editor so click on edit with visual composer okay uh, so basically now you, you can actually see the live version of your site but you have the um, option to customize everything that you add to your page I want to first um, edit the row element okay so I want to use a, a margin top like mm, maybe a, a value of 100 and the padding of uh, 50 save changes and as you can see now we have the under construction um, page um, a bit lower okay close that uh, let's go ahead and add the new row element um, for this uh, element I want to uh, add um, a contact form because I want users to be able to contact us um, okay so select uh, the correct form you want to use I'm going to use this one contact form with capture okay save changes um, you won't actually see the contact form in action because this is an external plugin and it cannot be rendered uh, uh, when using the front-end editor so I'm just going to hit update wait for a few seconds okay uh, the page has been successfully updated and exit the visual composer and now you can see how our page looks like uh, this looks nice we have a heading um, paragraph here we have some text but one thing that I um, don't really like is this uh, contact form which is too wide so again um, I'm going to go to the uh, back uh, end editor hit refresh And I'm going to use a custom layout like um, 
this one okay hit update you'll understand exactly what I've done I'm using a, um, a layout with um, <coughs> Um, a bigger uh, content in the middle and some spacing uh, to the left and right hit update this is a nice trick you'll see what happens now hit refresh okay so now as you can see um, our contact form is a lot uh, smaller um, you'll also notice here a message that we don't have the real simple capture plugin installed. That's okay. Uh, this is just for demo purposes. Uh, we don't actually need anything uh, like that installed. Okay, uh, again, I'm going to enable the um, Visual Composer uh, mode. Um, okay, so uh, another thing I want to do now is actually click on this uh, plus sign and add uh, a divider or separator uh, separator okay um, I want to use a double data, dotted uh, separator let's make it a double solid okay um, hit close I'm going to clone this element okay because I want um, between these two dividers, I want to add uh, a social link element. Uh, so search for the social links element, this one here. Okay, and start adding some links to your um, social uh, media profiles. Um, something like http facebook.com rocky. Thames. Okay, uh, same for Twitter. Sorry. And so on. I'm just going to use uh, uh, these values because I want to use uh, all of this. Hit save. And now, as you can see, we have our social link element. Um, click on it here so you can drag, drag and drop it uh, okay another thing that we want to do is select for position uh, center because we centered all our elements okay hit save changes and now as you can see we have the social elements uh, centered click update okay close um, the visual editor and now as you can see we have uh, nice page, nice under construction uh, construction page. Uh, one thing that uh, is missing and I want to uh, do now is uh, um, to make uh, to, add, to add the background to our site. So go back um, to our page, hit refresh to the back end uh, editor, hit refresh. okay and scroll down. and for the custom background image, click browse. Uh, media library I'm just going to use an existing image okay I'm going to use this image here you can use your own images you can insert into post uh, enable full screen background image turn that to yes okay click update go back to your page and hit refresh and now as you can see we have um, a nice background uh, to our site uh, mm, I don't really like uh, these dividers here, they cannot be seen uh, uh, very easily, so again I'm going to enable the Visual Composer and I'm going to edit the um, divider, you can actually specify any color you want for your divider, let's see how this color uh, is too, too dark, let's try, let's try something lighter. Um, I think this one is uh, a lot better. Okay, let's do the same for this one. I think it was a C9, C9, C9. Okay, you can actually play around with the padding top and padding bottom. 
something like this maybe you want a lower padding to the bottom as you can see now the contact form has been um, raised up uh, a bit okay um, close this and maybe for this uh, section I want to add a title something like contact us here um, we have the title uppercase leave it like that and just uh, going to use this option here ok, save changes close and drag the title um, above the contact form um, another thing I want to do is actually um, decrease the padding for the uh, for the row element uh, this row element uh, is actually the element that con contains the contact form so the padding top should be um, a lower value ok close as you can see now um, we have our contact form um, moved up a bit ok we save the page close the uh, visual editor and now as you can see we have a nice under construction page we have some text we have a contact form we have a nice background uh, we have our social links where users um, can get in, in touch with us so it's up to you to create um, better looking uh, under construction pages based on the elements uh, we integrated with our Nimba team okay so thank you for watching see you next time bye bye